Are you waiting for me? Is it devlog time already? Oh, goodness. I suppose we'd better get on with it then. Well, devlog number nine for the more journey in time. Such an exciting time, actually. I'm really pleased. This week we've had a, a couple of really nice milestones. One, we've hit over 100 subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> which is fantastic news so once again thank you to all the subscribers out there i really appreciate it looking forward to growing this community as the game grows as well that's something we're continuing to do so feel free to follow on discord don't forget to subscribe like the video as well it always helps but a really exciting one is our steam store page is now live so you can wish list. so there'll be a link appearing around about here but given this is the first time I've done this, it might actually be down in the description instead. We'll have to see which one works. So let's take a look at what's happened over the last couple of weeks. It's been quite exciting, been focusing around the main menu. And I got a lot of feedback as well, saying people wanted to see a bit more of the build process. So that's what I've been working on as well. We've got a lot more B-roll in there. And I'll explain my process and what I've been doing as I've been building the menu. So let's jump right in. Let's take a look. The goal I had in mind when I was developing over the past couple of weeks was to try and get the, the chapter select done. Now I didn't really have a clear vision in my head on how I wanted to do this, so as you can see I was I was playing around here getting an interface on the little gadget that Kara uh, holds on her belt. I was thinking maybe she could walk up to the portal and she could, I don't know, press some buttons and stuff and, and the portal would open and it would give you the chapter select at that point. But I wasn't overly happy with that so I started looking around for other ideas and we see there I've just put a screen down I thought maybe okay she could walk up to that instead and start pushing some buttons on the screen and then you'd see the portal changing on the on the right hand side but again not overly keen on the idea so I went back again to the interface on the gadget started putting it here but I soon noticed that you couldn't actually see it when you were in front of the portal so you'll notice when it when the camera turns, you can't actually see the interface too well through the portal. So once again, I decided to bin that idea and I, I felt I needed a pause after this just to try and gather my thoughts on what I actually wanted to do with it. So what I decided to do here was just try starting on the animation sequence that I wanted to take place once the, the chapter select had actually started. I had a nice idea in mind that I wanted uh, Kara to be able to walk around, walk onto the platform, it raised her up and get some effects in there as well. So that's what I started in that part there. And taking that little time out definitely worked because I came up with an idea of how I actually wanted to get the chapter select done. And I wanted to make it uh, on the main menu like we, ha like we already had. So I went into my asset for my interface elements. Now, although they are 2D, I brought them in and started working on them to get them in place on in the 3D world space. Obviously just a lot of scaling down to get them in place which is what we can see happening here. So there's quite a lot of back and forth between how I wanted to get it right. I find with a lot of this it's trial and error. I, I don't generally draw up something in advance and think right I'm going to build it like that. I'll, I'll put things down, I'll play around and I'll decide then how I want it to look. So I started getting a nice feel for this now on how I wanted it to look. You can see I got the screenshot in there of, of the temporal vault that I've been working on. Obviously needed to do a little bit of work to get that image in the, in the same format as the template that I was previously using. So this section here is just me um, failing at Photoshop to try and get the corners cut off. So I went back and did it manually in the end, which we can see here. As we're going around so it took a couple of attempts i don't i'm not an artist i don't use photoshop very often so i'm very limited in my skill set so i just went straight in for zoom in and do it pixel by pixel which worked in the end so i'm not going to complain too much and it got the job done and then i was eventually able to get it exported and i did it wrong initially i think i put it out as a jpeg it needed to be a, a ping so i put it out as a ping file and then we're able to see that the corners were nicely chopped off as they should so this actually started taking shape. I was quite happy with how this was looking, but I wanted multiple chapters to be showing at once. So it didn't really fit for me. I needed a bit more on there. So I started playing around again to try and uh, get things fit in with what I'd envisioned in my mind. So we see here I'm putting a title bar on the top so I can free up some space to put the name up there. 
the name of the level so we can see the prologue showing there now and then I started playing around to try and get these multiple chapters the selection in so we can see here I'll have three showing at one time and then started moving things around and now this started to really take shape with what I had in my mind I was going for this whole carousel sequence where you can click round and they'll just spin round the chapters will just spin round and when, when you've got the nice sound effects on there it's actually it works really really nicely and this is pretty much what I had in mind this is the vision that I had when I started out uh, so really happy with how that was turning out at this point so I finished most of the setting up of the the UI on there and then needed to get some coding done there was quite a few assets out there for doing carousels um, lots of them working directly with 3d objects though um, some of them working with the UI stuff but I thought well it's not it's not rocket science to write a carousel so I thought I'd just flex my coding muscles a little bit because I've not done too much coding at the moment in this game I thought I'd just get the coding done myself now there was a couple of failed attempts at what I was doing I was overcomplicating it so much so when I was trying things it just wasn't working I did eventually uh, I think I left it for that day came back the next morning and binned what I'd done and within sort of 20 minutes had written what I needed to do to get it all working you know how it works with with programming it's often the case when you put it down for a bit and go back to it it generally works out a lot better so we can see things here they start to take shape they're starting to work how I wanted them to um, finally after having the better idea of, of how I wanted to code it in the first place still keeping it modular so I can drag as many chapters in as I want to as well and then obviously clean up all the mess of the things that I was working on we get a nice scene view of things working here which is which is good unfortunately you don't get to see my game screen because I had that on another monitor and that doesn't get recorded so we only see it from a scene view so I, I did have a little bit of play around to try and make the uh, the turning motion a little bit more fluid but I've decided to leave that uh, for a little bit now I started to work on the menu transitions themselves I wasn't happy with the amount of work that it was taking to transition between the menus because I've got game creator in this I'm using it for quick simple things but when I've got to drag five triggers onto something and multiple actions that's the point where I start coding so I decided at this point just to write a script where I could drag two different menus on and it knows what to do at that point to switch between them um, obviously it doesn't work straight away but it's the process of coding isn't it to get it all in place so that was the main thing here I want to be able to just drag a script on and it deal with closing one menu and bringing the new one up as we can see this working now I just want to step in at this point something I hear quite a lot is oh I wish I could do that or I wish I could create things like you do but six six months ago before I started really doing game development I didn't think I was a creative person either and I'm hoping that the footage that you've just seen just shows the process that I don't feel that you, you always need to be a creative person in your mind to make these things work. Sometimes just try an idea, see if it works. If it doesn't, move on to the next one. If that doesn't work, move on to the next one. And I suppose it's a bit of a brute force attempt at design work. Just knowing what you like is different to not being able to create it. So you just keep going through that process until you find it. And that's what I've done with the menu system. I, don't, I didn't do a storyboard. I didn't do anything that... Um, to draw out what I thought it should look like because honestly I didn't know I just kept going through a process until I found something that I felt really worked and again this is where the community comes in because I'm always posting things on discord getting feedback from the community and if there's something I'm not sure of then I'll just ask or I'll put a poll on and ask for people's opinions on how it should be so don't be afraid to ask for feedback during the development process I suppose then the, the key thing from my point of view would be to make sure that you're including or engaging your community from the start. If you're doing a similar thing and you're, you're building a game that you want people to be invested in and to be interested in, then why not ask them up front what they think of the things that you're actually building? At the end of the day, they're the ones that uh, are going to be valuable in giving you this feedback process. There's no point in launching and getting a load of hate mail right at the start of your launch because, well, we didn't ask for feedback at the start. Saves a bit a lot of problems, doesn't it? So we've seen the process, we've seen the the menu that's been built so far with the chapter selection let's jump in now let's take a look and see what it looks like in its final form and here it is this is our menu system in place and working
No, I'm not going to click on anything because it will spoil it for the next devlog. But this is the, the past couple of weeks hard work gone into action. There are a few things that I still want to do on here. For instance, I'd like to remove that button when there's no previous chapter. And I want to remove this button as well when there's no next chapter on there. And there's a bit of an issue up here with that button going massive. So I need to sort that out as well. But the principle's there, it's working. We've got the transitions working nicely. That's from the scripting that you saw take place earlier. And then the, the chapter select is there as well. And there we are. It seems that hours and hours of work goes in, doesn't it? Just for a few seconds of footage to show the work that's come out of it. But as we know with game development, it's always worth it. Uh, the final outcome will take a long time to get there, but it'll look good. Now in our next devlog, in a couple of weeks time, we'll be showing a bit more on the chapter selection, this time using timelines and Cinemachine. And we're going to see how we get the cameras going around to actually enter the portal as well. Many of you will have already seen that video uh, that I've been posting around. It's been on Discord. So again, feel free to join Discord and, and check in on the development process. I post in there most days when I've been working. We will have the new devlog out in a couple of weeks time. So subscribe if you want and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified. But most of all, if you could leave a comment, if you could leave a like as well, I'd really appreciate that. It does help with the YouTube algorithms to help us uh, get the content shown to more people. And don't forget, Steam, we can wishlist now. So go ahead and get that done as well. As always, guys, thank you ever so much for joining us on this journey and we'll see you in the next one.